Air quality has a direct effect on your quality of life. I mean, you only need air to live, right? For 19 years now, the American Lung Association has been looking at what's in the air we breathe based on where we live. The study looks at two types of pollution, ozone and particle. We all know the ozone, the invisible shield in the upper atmosphere protecting us from the sun. But when ozone develops near the ground as a result of emissions from cars and power plants and mixes with the air we breathe, that's bad. Particle pollution, on the other hand, is the stuff that gets in our air that wasn't supposed to be there. Think smoke or aerosols. So what are the places to avoid if we want clean air? Los Angeles ranks number one for ozone pollution. Their daily particle pollution is pretty bad too, but Bakersfield, California just barely beats them out. In fact, several California cities have made both lists. As for clean air, Anchorage, Alaska takes the cake for cleanest city for ozone pollution. And surprisingly, the cleanest city for daily particle pollution is Albany, New York. Back here at home, the Tampa St. Pete Clearwater area kills it when it comes to particle pollution. We tie first for the cleanest metropolitan area when it comes to particle pollution over the course of a day. But it's those high ozone days we need to worry about. Out of 228 cities, we rank 53rd. Hmm. Not too bad. Interesting. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's things that we can all do, obviously, to make the air a little bit cleaner just in our little world that we live in. A couple of things that are kind of obvious, you know, ride a bike, mm -hmm. walk, you know, instead of driving your car. Sure. But something that was really interesting, if you were to just make sure your air pressure in your tires are, are correct, then your car is going to have to work a lot less. Hmm. And so if it's working harder, if your tires are flat, then it's going to obviously put out more emissions, which mm -hmm. is going to create more of those ozone action days, especially on the hot days during the summertime. So it's all about making things more efficient and then obviously trying to reduce the amount of um, you know, pollutants going to the air. Yeah, and uh, not to be a Debbie Downer, I used to live out in Bakersfield, and I'll tell you what, right. the uh, number of cancer incidents out there mm -hmm. is, is greater than the rest of the country. The wow. air out there, notoriously bad. Yeah. Um, so that says something. We work, anything, but. we work and live in such a walkable area, yeah. too, that it's easy to take your bike or go for a run mm -hmm, or go for right. a walk instead mm -hmm. of just jumping in your car for yeah. a, a mile down the road. Yes. It's good. Yeah, it is. We like that.